day in the life of a music producer. This video is sponsored by Lander, the instant AI mastering tool for musicians. So it's a Sunday and I normally start my days off with an exercise and walking my dog. It's always been important to me to stay in shape to keep my voice at its highest potential. In addition to this, I also get a good amount of instrumental practice because I am the lead musician at my church and have been since seven. Okay, so I just arrived at the church. It is 11.28. Not like you can see that, but this is how my week starts. I am a church musician. Uh, we're about to go in here, do the service real quick, and then head to the studio afterwards. So now that times have changed, of course, we need the mask. And our church does have a COVID protocol. We social distance, we wear masks, and we wash our hands. It's new, but you know, it's what we have to do. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, my office. Unfortunately, since COVID hit, I haven't been able to get much organ practice in. And so as a musician who wants to grow, I take each week playing as a opportunity to experiment with new sounds, chords, or just different things I like to try. Church has always been my number one influence when it comes to how I produce, the chords I play, the style that I play. So I would not be the producer I am today without this place. All right, so service just ended. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of my office here at the church. This is a Hammond, I don't think it's a B3. Uh, this is an organ I've been playing since I was a kid and every Sunday. It is my task to helm this thing and carry the service to the places where it's supposed to go. Part of my routine as a musician, because I'm a musician first and foremost, I learned how to play keys before I learned anything, production, singing, and none of that stuff. Usually after church, I head to the studio so I can prep my week, plan some of my videos, get some scripts done. A lot of people don't know this, but in between songs or after service, I usually come up with song ideas. This is one that I started way back in 2013. Growing up a church musician has been an incredible experience because not only does it give you the freedom to express yourself however you desire to, there is no structure to our kind of church music. You kind of just go with the flow which is pretty much how I create my music as it is. Hey Siri, turn my lights on. Okay, the light panels are on. So next, whether it's after service or on my regular work days, I come into the studio I respond to all my text messages on my super phone. I drink my usual unnecessary can of bang energy and I get to work. Not sponsored by the way. Okay, it is Monday and today I have, I have quite a bit to do and I'm going to take a look at Actions, which is the first app that I use to kind of plan out my days, my weeks. It's a, like a to-do list, but way more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so this is Actions. It's my favorite to-do app that I use to kind of organize my days, my tasks, my subtasks, along with an app called Time Page, which is a calendar that links all of my to-dos in all of my days so that I get an overview of how busy or how open my day is. I will say that uh, I'm still trying to refine my entire workflow when it comes to approaching tasks as a YouTuber. So I'm using like different apps to kind of manage that. Actions and Time Page were two of the ones that I kind of recommend the most. There's also one called Notion, and I'm actually gonna dive into the computer to check out uh, what that looks like. So basically all my content, YouTube, 
Instagram, which I want to use more, and then TikTok. But basically, I keep this thing updated every single day to specifically make sure that I'm on track with all this stuff. So yeah, Notion is, is really cool. It's really cool. I use Notion basically to plan out my videos from the script to even the shots I plan on getting in the video. This is part of what I do when I plan out these videos and sponsorships is I test out different software for companies before I make the video, obviously. Sometimes I like to have a genuine reaction, a genuine creation as I'm creating because I want people to see just how you can approach something when you're making a beat. So I'll like at least check it out first and then I will film the video later. Whatever the software is, I like to show off a real life scenario and creation of that software. Speaking of showing what software can do and also a piece of software that I use in my daily music creation, let's go ahead and check out our sponsors for today, Lander. Now Lander is an AI music mastering service trusted by millions of artists around the world to turn their songs into professional sounding radio ready hits. With a super affordable monthly price at the fraction of a cost to traditional mastering services, Lander is a tool with many different features that allow musicians like you and myself to add that little bit of extra saucy punch to our tracks. You let the AI scan your track, build a custom chain for you, a custom sound profile, and then it gives you different options to select from to customize your sound. It used to be shopping sprees to fill the fridges. Now but shopping sprees every weekend that sell fridges. So this is an example of what Lander can do for you and why I use it to master my music with every single project that I release. If you want to get the same results with your songs with just a few easy clicks, be sure to click the link in the description to try Lander for yourself today. Now let's get to the rest of the video. Check out some more cool software. Once I have an idea of how the software or hardware works for myself, this is where I start to script my video, where I figure out how am I gonna tell the story of this plugin or demonstrate its capabilities, its best features. What is my audience going to get most from this? What is something that they would love to see? So now comes the task of setting up camera angles to prepare for tomorrow's filming because usually I don't like to film and edit in the same day anymore. I used to be able to, but these days with how complicated my shoots are, I tend to separate the two because it's just a lot of work for one person. So right now I'm gonna set up the cameras. I have three cameras um, for three different angles so that I don't have to like take one camera, film one angle, then set it up and, and another angle, then another angle. I like to have angles in my videos, but I also like to streamline the creation. So that's why I bought three cameras in the first place. Might be a little bit overkill, <laughs> I'm well aware, but this is how I make things easier for myself. And of course, the part that I personally hate the most, which is the SEO title and thumbnail for the videos. I generally just take photos that best match the topic of the video. I edit it here in Lightroom on my iPad, and then I export that photo to my Mac to make the thumbnail. The video then gets scheduled, it gets posted, it goes live, and of course, we want to respond to every comment we get. It's harder for me these days than before to keep up with every single comment like I used to, but I try my best because I want the audience to know that I do care about what they have to say or helping them out if they do have a question but sometimes the video doesn't even always make it to YouTube. All right, guys. Sometimes things don't go as planned. I was, I was so in the vibe, I was so ready to start recording this video. I had some computer issues. This has happened so many times from like RAM giving me issues and shutting down my computer to stuff with Final Cut and transcoding. It interrupts my workflow and now I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I, that was that was my film for today, so. I <laughs> have this gear set up. I have four camera angles. I was ready to go. Just maybe we'll just make some music for fun. Bruh, it's only 11.40. What else do I have to do? When you're a content creator, it's important to be able to adapt. And in this case, I just decided to go ahead and go through my messages once again, respond to all my DMs on Instagram and Superphone, 
And sometimes I even have clients who come to me for music production, mixing and mastering, or even music reviews. And I see here we have a music review request for my live stream, which you guys should definitely check out every Saturday. But for today, it's my own music. Sometimes when I have free time, I'll even go back to an older song of mine to check the mix, even if it's already been released, to see if I can hone in my craft and get better at what I do. What I typically do when I get home, it depends what time I get home. Sometimes I work, like I said, until about six. After I get home, it's time to cook. I'm cooking some wonderful, I'm about to have some uh, carne asada fries, papas fritas. I do have garlic fries, I got curly fries. I'm probably gonna use both in this case, but you know, your boy be cooking out here, man. Watch a little bit of Netflix right now. We got Big Mouth on the TV, as recommended by the girlfriend. Glass of the alcohol here. Cause it's like a nice way to unwind after a lot of work, you know what I mean? It's part of my routine to kind of unwind after a work day to either drink a glass of wine, maybe a beer if I'm feeling that. And then of course this dog here, <laughs> he wants to join the process. So we'll see the finished results after, well, I'll just clip to it now. <laughs>